Hi guys! I know y'all just saw me, uh, but I decided to come on today because I did a little impromptu thrifting after work. I have been driving all around Dallas, it seems. Oh, I don't want to sneeze, I don't want to pause. Excuse me! Anywho, seems like I've been driving all around Dallas since um, Monday, no, since Saturday trying to uh, send off my son's, my big dude's birthday gift to him. His birthday is Thanksgiving, actual Thanksgiving this year. And I was trying to get him a little small uh, package um, to him before the holiday uh, interfered with the mail and I have not had any luck. You guys, when I tell you I'm either Finding post offices that who's that don't have the the little kiosk lobby areas or my local post office is open 24 hours. The kiosk area, I just found that out. I wasn't aware. Uh, but the machines are broken, have been for two days. I keep going back hoping that somebody would have fixed them by now so I can just self-address and shove in the mailboxes. At this point, even if I were to get uh, it, you know, stamped, it wouldn't get there on time now, unless I UPS stored it. Uh, but it seems like every time I made my way to UPS store, something happened and I'd end up having to do something else. Case in point yesterday, little dude was really, really sick after work. I went to pick him up at my mom's and he was just in a really bad way. I think it was a little 24 hour something, maybe a little 12 hour something, I'm not sure, but he was in a lot of pain. <laughs> he was very, very uncomfortable. So I had to tend to him uh, and it just got in the way of going to the UPS store and here it is. Tuesday, tomorrow's the last day. I may try one more time. Hold on, baby, knock it over. Mm. I may try one more time to try and get it. Who's that? Deadpool. Deadpool. Um, to get it shipped out. But at this point, I know it's not going to get there in time. But I say all that to say that I've been driving around all over the place. Today, little dude was in tow because I tried one more post office very near to my mom's house. And come to find out that they don't have the kiosk in the lobby area at least i couldn't find it this friggin post office is huge it's the main post office it's huge there was all these entrances i may have gone in the wrong way i'm not sure because i was able to access the building but blah 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 i'm saying all this again to say that we were driving all around dallas and excuse me that was rude um on the way after i couldn't yet again um stamp my stuff and the nearest UPS store was gonna close by the time I reached it I was just in a funk and um out of the blue I just asked little dude you want to go to the orange junk store which is thrift town he goes by color goodwill is blue thrift mart is red and thrift town is orange and he said yes which is fine because he was feeling kind of crappy yesterday he he was not feeling well yesterday um so I was like, well, let's go. And I found some stuff, you guys. I don't know why I thought I wasn't going to find anything on a Tuesday. I figured all the good stuff would have already been picked over. And I willingly went because I'm like, well, I'm watching my, my pennies, you know, with Christmas right around the corner. And uh, I probably won't find anything anyway. So, yeah, if I go to Goodwill, I know I'm going to find a bunch of stuff. So better stay out of Goodwill. Let's go to Thrift Mart because Thrift Mart's been, you know, not so cool lately you guys. Still, I only spent $24 because I used five, uh, I got $5 off for my VIP frequent buyer, VIP at a thrift store, <laughs> frequent buyer. So let me show you guys what I got because I've gone on and on and on and on and on. Let me show you guys what I got to there and every time I stink and turned around there was something else. So let me show you guys this first because I need y'all's opinion on what the heck this is. Hold on one second. Is something wrong? No, -uh, I had to grab something. Oh. Okay, so I found this thing. And I liked that it was metal. And my idea was that it was for paper towels. And I thought it would look nicer on my table than just a roll of paper towels. But it, 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 the paper.
paper towels are very narrow. Now, maybe if I buy a jumbo roll, it'll fit better. I don't know. Is that what this is for? Do any of you guys know what this is for? Could there have been like little dessert plates that sat nestled in here or something? And I'm missing the plates. What is this? I wanted it for paper towels. So that's why I bought it. And it was $1.99. I may try a jumbo roll in here just to see if it looks better. But for now, that's what that is. So I found that. I found this. And if you look, I'm black because I took off the little burnt nibbies on this candle. This candle is so potent. Now, Ross was selling it for $7.99. Thrift Town sold it for $3.99, and it only looks like it had been burnt just a bit. You know, there's not a whole lot of divot in the wax. There's not a bunch of holes. So I'm thinking maybe the person who burned it didn't like it. It is very, very strong. Maybe that's why it was at the thrift store. It smells amazing, but it is really, really, it's a very, very concentrated smell. Uh, it is the Everyday Aromatics Always Hand Poured Ocean Breeze. For those of you interested, maybe wanting to run to Ross, take a sniff of this brand. I kind of would like to smell really strong, really concentrated, but really nice. I'd kind of like to take a little sniff of a few more of those. Um, I found these, and there are two of them. Let me pull the other one out because I think there may be something else on the bottom of here. Gosh, I hope I don't knock that down. There is something up in here. I just don't remember what it is. Okay. Found two of these, and I thought they would be nice as bookends. Somehow, maybe. What y'all think? I think that would be pretty. Like on the top of a table, some books, and use these as bookends. And someone glued. I hope they're glued. Yeah, they look glued. The little votives are glued in there, and each one was $3.99. And I just love the metal scrolly of it all. Y'all been with me a while? Y'all know I love me some metal scroll. So I grabbed those, and I know where I'm going to use them. So that's a good thing. I know where I'm going to use them. Um, hold on, there's something else in here. Oh, I found girls just want to have fun. Y'all remember this 80s summer? Helen Hunt, Sarah Jessica Parker, Shannon Doherty, they go on um, that dance show on TV. One of these girls is so sheltered, she can't go out and parlay, and she finally goes out and, and, and wins, you know, I think it's Sarah that wins the whole shebang. Is this Sarah that wins the whole shebang? Yeah, Sarah wins the whole shebang. I just love it, and it's in awesome condition. Probably somebody got it, maybe watched it once. If even that, I mean, there aren't any marks, any lines, any anything on it. And I had almost got this at um someplace I found it for five bucks. And I almost got it and meh, decided not to. But there I have it for, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show y'all. $2.99, which for me is a little expensive because y'all know I like my $1.99 movies at Goodwill. But I just, I couldn't, when am I going to come across this again at a thrift store? So I grabbed it. And I found this beauty. And if y'all are my friends on Facebook, y'all know I was trying to figure out how to make coffee last night. I can't make coffee to save my life, guys. I love a nice, good cup of coffee every now and then, but I can't make coffee. I never learned how to make coffee. I make terrible, nasty, disgusting, strip paint coffee. Horrible, horrible coffee. Um, and I was just on Facebook asking people ratio of water to coffee, and I came across this beautiful mug. I thought it was chipped, but that's the sticker. Okay. It reads, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Isaiah 40, 31. And inside is an eagle. Isn't that pretty? Purple scripture. And it was only 99 cents. So if I ever get to make a decent cup of coffee up in this joint, I'm going to use that. Little dude looked all around, didn't find any toys he liked, but he did find SpongeBob Saves the Day, three books in one. He loves the sponge. His reading has improved so much. I get a kick out of him reading to me. So we went ahead and got that for him for 79 cents. Oh, no wiggly, babe. Don't wiggle. 
I found this thing and I totally girled out. Don't be doing that, baby. It sounds real. That's gross. Totally geeked out on the most intense. Y'all see how y'all are perched on my candles? Now, this beauty was tried and tested there. Uh, it was $4.99. The only thing wrong with it, you'll see my root beer. Yeah, I was drinking my root beer. Is the back is missing. Now, there are little holes here that screws went to, and it has the indentation as if though a lid or a back went on there. I tried it with a light bulb, and it worked just fine. I'm hoping I can find an old tin top, or I'll improvise something to go back here because I don't know if it'll hurt the light bulb being exposed or not. But um, I, it has a little push button to turn on and off, and it was friggin' awesome i loved it so girly and bougie i had to have it so grab that eh. and the only other thing i picked up and i probably shouldn't be grabbing it with my bare hands but it was this metal waste paper basket in this brown color that is going to go real well in my bedroom i don't need a waste basket in my bedroom really but every now and then when the allergies get real bad it keeps me from having a disgusting pile of boogie rags uh of boogie tissues everywhere and i can just toss them in here and i like that it was metal and it doesn't look gross or anything inside but walmart was selling it to better homes and gardens whatever and uh that was 3.99 so i grabbed that did i tell y'all yeah so that was that was everything. That, yes, that's everything that I found at Thrift Mart. Thrift Town, sorry. And I'm so glad I went because with my little savings coupon I did, I spent like $24 on everything, which I thought was awesome. So now let me show you guys what I found at Dollar Tree because afterwards, little dude only found a book. And he likes to, to he dug, <laughs> bless his little heart, he dug through all the bags, the little random stuffed bags. He couldn't find anything he wanted and he's like his mama. He has to buy something. He has to get that thrill of a nice little find and he found a good book, but he was like, mom, can we go to Dollar Tree? He could have said Walmart, he could have said Target. No, my little dude is as frugal as mama is. And he said, can we go to Dollar Tree? Since I didn't find a toy here, I said, sure, let's go to Dollar Tree. So we went to Dollar Tree, he found himself this little blind bag. I think it's still in here. Bubba, do you have your blind bag? He found a little blind bag, um, minion. a minion blind bag, the only one left. Now, last week we went and they had a whole bunch of them. Those are like three something at Walmart and they were a dollar, dollar tree, of course. And he didn't want them at the time, but now he was specifically looking for them and there was only one left. So he grabbed that. I grabbed some triple A's um, for the Blu-ray remote. And I grabbed a little bulb for that mirror I just bought, even though the picture shows those little twisty piggy tail light bulbs. They have them at the 99 cent only for $1.99, but I didn't want to go to the 99 cent only. So for the time being, I got one of these. Um, and my find of the day, I couldn't believe it. Now, when I first saw them, I was impressed with the packaging, the weight, the heft of them, the detail on them, the fact that they're a name brand toy. And I was like, how cool for a dollar? So I put them in my basket. And then when I got out to the car, I was like, these are really nice. And I was just curious and Googled them. And if I Googled correctly, and I think I did, um, Walmart is selling these for $58.30 each. They are the Star Wars, the Black Series, Titanium Series. Um, little vehicles, Star Wars vehicles. And at first I thought those that are 58, 30 are probably bigger. You just can't really tell on online. But no, I did all the searching on the sizing and everything. And it's these. These are on Walmart.com for 58, 30. And there were only two and they were scattered among all the toys. And I dug and dug and dug because I wanted a few. And this is before I knew how much they were. I just thought they, they were, I was really impressed with the heft and the look of them. And, um. I couldn't find any more, but um, you guys, if you have a Dollar Tree around y'all and y'all looking for stocking stuffers, please, please, please dig through the toys. I know depending on 
what your Dollar Tree might look like. It might be a giant disgusting mess in there because some of ours are ridiculous. But dig through the toys if you're looking for stocking stuffers and stuff because you may be pleasantly surprised. And the cat is trying to eat the plastic price tag on my thingy for paper towels. Anywho, but I had to share that with you guys. Let me share something else real quick. Okay, now y'all remember when I bought, I showed you guys the, on my last Dollar Tree haul, I bought that purple shimmery uh, duct tape. I told you guys I wanted to face these little hand sanitizers. At the time, it sounded creative. I did it. Y'all remember this? <laughs> Y'all remember these little spray hand sanitizers? Yes, I could have done a better job trimming. But, hey, it covered the label. It, it, it did what I wanted it to do. So, now I can display them somewhere. They're all nice and purpley. Just wanted to show y'all that. Show y'all my... Is my car alarm going off? That wasn't mine. Um, somebody's car alarm. You see him chewing that plastic? So now they're all... Hey, weirdo. Now they're all purple and neat looking. Okay, now, very small little haul. I just wanted to share that with y'all because I did. I was so excited about the stuff I found at the thrift store. I was so excited about the Star Wars things I found. And then because I didn't get to show you guys the Ipsy on my last haul because my phone was acting funny. If you guys are interested in in um what is this? November's Ipsy? Well, let me show you. Okay. I don't know where the card is. Is a card in here? Happy Friendsgiving. Say what we're thankful for in five emojis and go. That's what the card looks like. It came with, you are going to give yourself a stomach ache. Would it? Came with a timeless beauty bar sheet masks. One is called Up in the Clouds and the other is called Glam and Glow. I'm giving these away because I'm a scared to put them on my face. Uh, but I uh, googled the price on them and they're like 14 bucks each So that already made up the ten dollars that I pay for Ipsy My bougie heart went with this, okay It's a little tart blush Now I don't buy tart I have a palette But I don't buy tart enough to know if this is a full size or not but it's a nice size it's this beautiful colored blush look at that look at that so pretty got that got ink velvet lip tint in Peri i don't know if that's the name it reminds me of this little town in mexico pure peru Purepero, purepero. I don't know why I started thought purepero. I think that's the name of that little place in Mexico, purepero. But this is called Peripera Lip Tint. It's a bit of teeny tiny. Little, little brush. I'd put it on, but I'm leery of reds and stains. Stain. So. I'm leery of reds because of my allergy and I haven't read to see which color red is in here, but that's what it came in. And then I was quite happy that this is a full size scone brow wand eyebrow pencil. Full size, one day I'll start working on them. Y'all, I'd have recorded myself trying to do eyebrows, you guys. I am trying so hard to learn how to draw on my eyebrows like the YouTube gurus do. And Why sometimes I, I think, it, because I want a shape right here. I want an arch. I used to have a nice arch, and then I overplucked and ended up with rainbows. So, there's an alarm again. It's just a full size eyebrow pencil sorry about that and then I got another brush and I love brushes I love 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 brushes this is a I can't even pronounce the brand bean gotchis bay bow gotchis bow I don't know but it's this little eye shader very very dense very very soft 
So that is everything that came in the Ipsy bag. Now the Ipsy bag itself I think is really cute. It is this navy blue little bag with hearts all over it. So cute. But I wanted to show you that because I didn't have a chance to show you guys before. So here I was with my surprise on a Tuesday video when you guys just saw my face. But um, I hope y'all had an awesome week so far. Some of you guys are getting ready to start cooking tomorrow night. God bless y'all. Because I don't cook. This is my sister's holiday and she wants to rain in the kitchen. And Ozzy's on the table so I, he's wiggling you guys. But that's it. Uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys and share the goodies. Because I really want to clean up this stuff and put it to some use. Don't wiggle babe. So until my next go around. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week. And again I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he just quit. He has this nasty habit of doing gross, fakey burps. Um, have an awesome, awesome Thanksgiving. Enjoy your loved ones. Hug him when you can because my big boy's not going to be here. And it's his birthday and Thanksgiving. So it's like a double whammy to my mommy heart. So enjoy those that are near you. Enjoy those that are with you. And uh, until I see you guys again, love y'all bunches. Bye. Good night.